It's July the 4th, and in thousands of backyards across North America, hot dogs sizzle on the grill. Traditionalists will lightly toast the bun, then proceed with two streaks of ketchup and mustard, while others may dollop homemade chili, relish, or even jalapeno peppers along the narrow back of a perfectly cylindrical sausage. July the 4th is perhaps America's most secular celebration, and celebrated by everyone, regardless of class, race, and religion. While most countries in Europe have their preferred methods of preparing sausages, the hot dog is distinctly an American invention, loved by the masses. Nathan's Famous began in 1916 as a Coney Island food stand. Polish immigrant Nathan Handwerker sold hot dogs based on a recipe developed by his wife. In many ways, the hot dog bun whether served at Nathan's in Coney Island with a beef franc and crinkle-cut French fries for a few dollars, or whether stuffed with lobster in the Hamptons for ten times the amount, is a testament to the dream of meritocracy, a silent hero of summer eating, a culinary equaliser that brings a moment of satisfaction and nostalgia to the richest and poorest residents of New York City. Ice cream makes me sad. Not because it's not wonderful. Ice cream is one of life's greatest delights. No, I feel sad about ice cream because I can't eat it anymore. I'm allergic to milk. Let's pause here to consider what makes ice cream so pleasing. It is creamy. It has lots of sugar and fat. Sometimes it has crunchy things in it. Sometimes it is smooth. On a hot day, it is delightfully cold. On a cold day, it reminds us of summer. It comes in a never-ending variety of flavors, some of which are counterintuitive. Ice cream has beguiling mouthfeel and sweetness. We do not have to be taught to like it. Summer is still sweet, with or without that scoop of ice cream, if my family is all there, eating together. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Mmm. I'm gonna lay down my sword chill, down by the riverside. Corn on the cob is summer food, and summer only. In fact, it may be the ultimate summer food. It is inextricably connected to picnics, and 4th of July cookouts, and mid-July street festivals. As much as I love it, I have never dreamed about having it in December. Corn in all its forms is part of the American identity. Corn is pounded for grits, rolled for cornmeal, powdered for cornstarch. It is popped and buttered by the truckload and served in every movie theater in the country. Its ultimate form, though, is freshly picked, boiled or roasted or grilled, and eaten right off the cob. When I was young, there was another special reason that corn on the cob was so beloved. It is one of the only foods I was encouraged to eat with my hands. It was hands-on and sloppy. I discovered the farmer's markets in the city, which made up for those missing farm stands on the sides of country roads. Hey, can you get one more? And then, better yet, I discovered that sweet corn had managed to work its way onto the street festival menu. 